In this video, we're going to be looking at what binary numbers are. Binary is just a numbering system in the same way that our usual numbering system is decimal. So just like our normal decimal numbering system that we see every day, binary is just another way of representing numbers. Binary uses the values 0 and 1 to represent all numbers. And again, it's the place value of either the 0 or 1 that determines what the number actually is. So in decimal, we have 10 values that represent all the numbers. That is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and 9. And depending on where we place them, we can determine their number. So the place value of each of those values determines a number. So again, for example, if we had this number here, 1, 4, 5, we would know by the place values that we had 5 1s, 4 10s, and 1 100, which would give us 100 plus 40 plus 5, or that number 145 that we know. So now let's have a look at the place values of the binary system. As we can only use the values 0 and 1, the place values go up in multiples of 2. So we often call this a base 2 numbering system. Decimal is called a base 10 numbering system. Two possible values or 10 possible values, base 2 or base 10. And here is the first eight of those. We still start with the ones or the units, and then we double to go to twos, double again to go to fours, eights, 16s, 32, 64, 128, and would we'll continue to double going up higher if need be. So, how do we convert a number uh, from binary to decimal? So we do that in the same way that we're used to, we just use different place values. So here we have a binary number, 1001001. If I start with the place values, so I've got my 1s, 2s, 4s, 8s, 16s, 32s, 64s, and 128. I can start working out what my decimal equivalent to this would be in the same way. So what I have is I've got one, one, I've got zero twos, zero fours, zero eights. I've got one sixteen, zero thirty twos, zero sixty fours, and one one hundred twenty eight. So I take those down again. I've got one hundred twenty eight. My next number I've got is a sixteen and a one. Add those together. I can simplify, of course, getting rid of the zeros, and I end up with 128 plus 16 plus 1, which gives me the overall value of 145. So just looking at that one more time, I've got my binary number, I've got the place values, 1, 2, 4, 8, and so forth, and where I have a 1, I represent that number, where I have a 0, I don't have any of that number, and it's a simple addition equation, basically the same idea as that we would do with a decimal number, but again, instead of it being base 10 or in multiples of 10, we're in multiples of two. So again, let's have a look. 1001001 zero, zero, one, zero, zero, one would be the number 145. Thanks for watching this video on binary.